Hello, hi. If you enjoy anything in this video, you should consider the following. Subscribe to me here on YouTube, follow me on Twitch, and on TikTok, where I make other forms of content and where I post my other content. All right, cool, enjoy the video. The other thing that I've been wanting to talk about for the landscape of VTubing and streaming and YouTube and TikTok and content creation as a whole as far as videos and streams go because i'm not i don't have any footing in music content or art content to be able to speak on that in a manner in a manner that i'm about to do okay those landscapes have been taking such a nosedive into the abyss and i say that because there are far too many people in this field now as compared to three four years ago and i'm not strictly talking about vtubing though i will strictly talk about vtubing in a few minutes there are a lot of people that have leapt into the content creation field thinking it would be an easy ticket to fame, easy ticket to money, this and this and that. There are a lot of people doing this now, and a lot of people are not properly equipped to be cut out for it. A lot of people severely underestimate the amount of work that goes into it. You can't just hit the record button and boom, you're famous. You can't just hit the go live button and boom you've made it you can't just post one tiktok and boom you made it due to the amount of people who have been lucky enough to just hit the hit the record button or hit the live button and make it they're different i am talking about the people who didn't get that lucky i'm talking about the people who Shaw saw this shiny, shiny, shiny thing to work for and achieve. And when they realized the amount of work they had to do, they gave up. I am talking about the people who decided that, well, I can't really go outside and do anything. Might as well try something. And once they got their first little itty bitty witty hit of popularity and fame and coolness then i decided to zero in on it and try to make it a full-time thing when they did not have the facilities to ensure it to be a full-time thing talking about the people who from minute one with zero experience in being a content creator or a streamer or a youtuber or a tiktoker or a vtuber or whatever decided to just full 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 send it without a care in the world and those are the people who if they haven't done it already are quitting are bowing out are are dropping it entirely because it's not well for some people it's not so much that they don't like it it's that they don't like the amount of work that they have to do for it that's where the problem is and now to pivot this back over to vtubing i'm going to say that since about uh i want to say the middle of August, I have been seeing a rapid, rapid increase in people deciding that they are graduating, that they are postponing all VTuber activities after this certain date, that they're doing one last uh, streamathon or donothon or subathon or marathon or whatever. And then that's it for them, that they're retiring, that they're giving up, that they're quitting, that they're this and this and this and this and that. While I'm not going to attribute 
all of their reasonings to they just didn't want to put in the work or whatever 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 that does wind up being the case for a lot of people because i am mostly talking about indie vtubers and those that are not in an organization those that are not in a group i am talking about the people like me the people like i don't know whatever other vtuber would probably watch this when i make it youtube ready um but i'm talking about those people because i have to be extremely direct and blunt like i always am and say that the vtubing field specifically is so heavily oversaturated and constantly has people coming in and being like oh well i have a good model that means i get all the popularity or oh i know how to be funny with this one particular thing that means i got it right newsflash you don't when i say it i mean the commute the community and the landscape has shifted heavy from a everybody's cool everybody's nice everyone's trying to work together to make big things happen to some really really stupid high school level grown ass people acting like children grown ass people committing crimes grown ass people doing things they have no business doing grown ass people acting out of line out of pocket for being told no grown ass people getting upset because they don't have a million followers within the first week of them debuting and people like i mentioned earlier not wanting to put in the necessary work that is required to do what you got to do because before you get anywhere in this field or in anything in life you are a nobody you are a small time nobody knows who the hell you are kind of person, right? It doesn't matter if you have the best community five ever. It doesn't matter if you have a wildly expensive model. It doesn't matter if you put all this money into it. The point is, is that if nobody likes you or nobody sees your stuff or if you're not pushed by the algorithm or favored by the algorithm or whatever guess what you are going to remain a nobody and no amount of whining and crying and begging and pissing yourself is going to change that no amount of clout chasing is going to fix that because there are plenty of people both in the vtubing space and in the general content creation space have been exposed as just raw clout chasers. And that's another thing too. VTubing is no longer this super, super small niche with a loyal fan base. It is very quickly being homogenized and integrated into you're just another content creator on the internet. You just have a different method of displaying yourself on screen should you decide to do so. That's just how it is. And a lot of people don't like that. They want the hit the go live button and boom, they're a millionaire, right? They expect to be carried by something that requires work and that is a problem. Hence why, as I mentioned earlier, there are a lot of people graduating on Moss that I've noticed since August. There are people who they put out their statement and their statement can easily be summarized as I don't want to work anymore therefore I quit or I'm not where I want to be and I did all these things therefore I quit or I spent all this money doing all this stuff and I'm not big and huge and I'm not partner and I don't have all this following I don't make all this money therefore I quit right there are Plenty of people who that's what their statements can be summarized to. And it's, I can't say it's sad, 
because I don't think that it's sad. I'm not going to lie to you like that. I think it's really lame and pathetic, really, because, you know, I've been doing this whole VTubing thing consistently for about about two years now. You know, I've been well, I've been an affiliate for two years and that hasn't deterred me from giving up or deciding that this isn't for me anymore because at the end of the day I like I genuinely like what I do and I'm not trying to put myself on a high horse or anything because there are people who do that and it backfires on them I'm just telling you how it is you know I like doing this yes I have my days where I complain about things that are outside of my control but that's just how it is you know I am a regular person I just have a unique way of showing myself on screen and in my media and in my content and how I carry myself. I'm a regular guy. You know, I'm not trying to be the second coming of Jesus with this VTubing stuff. I'm not trying to be, I'm not trying to be at fucking Iron Mouse scale or, 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 or fucking Vox Akuma scale or any other super huge retail. I'm not trying to be at that scale. I just want to do what I do and thrive in the way that I do it. And it is because that I carry myself and that many other people carry themselves where they carry themselves that they don't grow as fast as they like to. Because I've talked about this too before on stream too. The status quo and the standard for VTubers is you have to play into the general surface level culture. You know, you have to... And I, and I really don't like using this, but this is the easiest way to summarize it. You have to kind of be cringe on purpose. You know, you have to kind of be stupid or you have to like make yourself like a fool or you have to carry yourself as if you are already in a organization or a company or whatever, like a big name group and stuff like that. Because still at the end of the day, that's what the general vtubing audience is it's people that are into idol culture that's what they like and that's what a large conglomerate of vtuber watchers are but as far as the indie scene goes with the amount of people that i've seen over the years who backstab lie manipulate commit crimes commit theft treat everything as if it is a super heavy dog eat dog world people who are always trying to get a one up on someone not in a healthy competitive way but i am better than you kind of way people who very obviously do not enjoy what they do people who obviously are only trying to do this to make a bag people who can obviously be exposed as clout chasers people who don't chill with their viewers and recognize their audience and their loyal followers as like people who like them for them people who expect the easy road to be handed to them people who always try to ask kiss the bigger people and be in their chats and be in their streams talking about oh my god i love you so much and yada 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 you know laying it on heavy with the compliments to like a really weird level the, the the toxic positivity the toxicity in general in the indie vtubing space there are so many things wrong that a lot of people myself included hesitate to call it a community as it is just a sphere a circle or what have you because i don't vibe with the general vtubing space and people have told me that they don't vibe with me because i'm not the stereotypical type of vtuber and i don't want to be the stereotypical type of vtuber you know i talk about political things whenever i get the chance to you know i talk about real shit i don't i don't play into the whole uh lewd or say so thing i'm not trying to be mr smiles and mr happy all the time i'm not on the stupid uh cracked out <laughs> chaotic gremlin energy i don't i don't do any of that because that's not me it works for other people 
but that's not for me and it will never be for me you know i'm not going to fit a mold that someone else wants me to fit just so that i can make it out here because then i'm not gonna like it you know the other issue is that and i don't want to dwell too much on this because if i do I'm, i know for a genuine fact i'm going to get very very angry the other problem is that when you factor in the skin tone of my model the way i talk about certain things and my background as a person behind the model and the fact that i'm a guy identify as a guy i was in the third there's also an added layer of crap that myself and many other black vtubers do have to work through in order to be acknowledged at the same level as people that are not us right and it's not specifically a black vtuber problem because it's a person of color vtuber problem but in my case specifically i'm a black guy so i'm gonna talk about how it is to be a black vtuber for a few minutes right because plenty of people have made twitter posts have made youtube videos have had dedicated streams talking about being black in the vtubing space right whenever someone decides to be racist they always come out to us you know i've i've had said to me in the past in voice calls that oh nobody likes black vtubers nobody wants to watch black vtubers blah 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 right and still to this day right i i still recall the time where when i was making my 3d model and stuff and it was you know the pastiest white thing on the planet and i was like hey how do i alter the skin tone of this 3d model that i'm making in this vtubing server which was the original v stars server and if you know you know if you don't i'll probably explain it at a later date and time but anyway i asked that question and people were like oh well why do you want to change the skin tone of your model are you black and i was like yeah what's the fucking problem with that you know and after i figured out how to do that at that time I had a pretty good average, I had people in chat, I had people showing up, I was over 50 followers for the affiliate requirements. When I started using that model, all those numbers dropped by about 90%, right? You know, I watched my follower count go down in real time, I watched my average count go down in real time, I watched my chat activity go down in real time, but yet, but yet, the VTubing space will always be like, oh, we're so inclusive, we give everybody a chance. Bullshit. <laughs> Bull and shit, okay? Yo, what's up, Afro? What's poppin', gang? And I feel you on that, bro. That's complete bullshit, got good. Yeah, see, that that's the thing. Like, you have people, viewers, that are different, right? Because, let's say, right? Let's say that had I not lost what I had back then and I was still using this model now, I'm fairly positive that I'd probably not, and I'm, I, and I'm not trying to gas myself up to a delusional level, but I would probably be halfway to partner right about now, you know, just being honest with myself. I would probably, probably be halfway there, but it's because of people having their biases having stuff that they know that they're just going to turn off from anyway it is what it is right you know people in the black vtubing category have to work that much harder just because of the skin color of our fucking model whether it be a png whether it be 3d whether it be 2d whether it be something in between that's just how it is because people are biased and i'm not gonna knock people too much for being biased but like damn bro come on hence why at the same time you know so many people are like yo when are we getting a black vtuber group when are we getting a black vtuber organization when are we getting something to highlight our people 
which led to the creation of the Melanin Mafia Discord server, which led to the creation of the very first Melanin Mafia Black VTuber group, which I am a founding member of, you know? Very, no one else is wanting to like do it and be about it for real, for real. So somebody went and did it. Okay. Now, you know, the whole organization part, that's a lot of time. That's a lot of business. That's a lot of money that people don't have. That takes a long time. It's not just you snap your fingers and make happen. But anyway, getting back to the general problem with VTubing. You have the people that are just racist for the sake of being racist. You have the people who do a little bit too much of fucking around and not really finding out. You know, I mentioned earlier, you have people doing crimes like the grooming and the, the harassment and the manipulation and the hacking and the doxing. And like I said earlier, it went from a cool unified like community thing, like a real ass community thing to some high school clicky never ending drama unnecessary drama stuff that shouldn't be out in public type bs that just overall just brings everything on down hence why a lot of people myself included have chosen to not associate ourselves with the term VTuber and just say virtual creator instead because unfortunately the general term of VTuber to those that know and even to those that don't know has been so heavily tainted to where at this point a lot of people aren't even going to give you the time of day if you introduce yourself as a content creator and you say that you're a VTuber and if even someone has the smallest bit of knowledge, they'll just be like, oh, okay, you're weird, goodbye. And I say this because when a stupid fucking Elon got his hands on Twitter and he started screwing with the whole website and people that like didn't engage with VTubers started to see the kind of crap that goes on in VTubing all the time, they were like, oh, y'all are weird. Y'all don't deserve any positive attention, right? Because, and, I, and I'm gonna keep harping on this, you got all the unnecessary drama, the really, really, really unnecessary drama. You have people doing things that they have no business doing. You have people getting into this field thinking it's gonna be all sunshine and rainbows, slide into this, acting like, oh, well, if I just do this and do that, I'm instantly gonna be successful. I'm instantly gonna be able to do this and do this, and do all this, that, and the third, and say that, oh, I'm a positive force in the VTubing community. I have a voice to give people. I have a, I have a position in, in, in the space to use it for guy responsibility. And it's like, motherfucker, what responsibility? You average 30 viewers and you have like barely a thousand followers. Sit your ass down. People in the indie VTubing space, really do let numbers go to their head way too much because um in a recent youtube video that was a segmented out thing it was a vtuber by the name of evertrua you know you may or may not have saw the 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 bs that she literally caused all on her own about you know the artist thing and she was threatening to use her following count and being like oh i have all these followers and this and this and that, and I'll make it public, and whatever, whatever. That is a prime time example of people letting numbers get way too deep into their head, right? I can even reference the whole VTuber supporter group fiasco that went down a while back of people letting numbers get so deep in their head that they think that they're untouchable. And then when they do something heinous and crazy and wild, like giving someone the okay to do blackface, and then they don't see anything wrong with that, that's another thing too, right? It's so much drama that even when you genuinely go out of your way to avoid it, it still finds its way to you somehow, some way. You could even not be the cause of, you could be the farthest thing away from the drama 
and somehow it'll come across your feed it's gonna be some absolutely out of pocket and then the cycle just repeats and repeats and repeats and repeats this is due in part to people letting numbers get so deep into their head that their ego influence I mean inflates worse than Vegeta's ego from Dragon Ball and then they want to look like boo-boo the fool when don't nobody want to fuck with them when they start taking their viewers and their audience and their luck and their privilege for granted and they want to look around like everybody else is the problem right now again I am mostly focusing on indie VTubers. I'm not I'm not talking about people in corporations and orgs and businesses cuz I ain't got no foot in that water from a personal experience level. I'm only I can only talk about from what I've seen on the outside. No wonder that people are as I said earlier resigning, graduating, quitting in droves either because they don't want to put in the work, uh, they're not where they want to be because they're not putting in the work, or their statements can be summarized to, y'all didn't boost me up as much as I thought y'all did, and I wasted all this money and shit. And then you got people crying and acting entitled for, for the positions and stuff like that, because there was another VTuber, think about a year ago, two years ago, whatever, um, I think their name was like Powder or something. And they were making a fuss and whining and crying about how they've only gotten one payout since doing VTubing. And they they can't keep up with people's models and constantly getting new models and this and this and this and this and that. And like less than three months later, because she was whining and crying for attention, she got partner. You know, she got fucking like... Uh, uh, was replies from pretty much all of V Shoujo talking about, oh, keep it up, Queen, you got this, this, and that. They got retweeted and whatever, whatever. And because they cried for attention, they got partnered. And then they had like hella payouts coming their way. And they had like 300% more attention on them. But again, that's crying for numbers and attention instead of just being like, hey, you know. It's time to grind. It's time to put in that work. You know, we ball, yada, yada, yada. No. And that has happened for other people. And again, the landscape is just continuing to change to something that people absolutely want nothing to do with. And at this point, for good reason. Because, and I've said it before, I don't interact with a lot of the people in the space because I just don't like them. You know, I have my few people that I think are cool, that I watch, that I engage with in one way or another, and I keep it pushing, you know? But as I was saying, you know, whining and crying for stuff is probably, probably going to get you some temporary support and I don't know, praise or whatever the fuck. It's going to get you something temporary, yes, but do you really want to be known and, I don't know, have a tweet, get like a ton of fucking attention and go, I don't know, uh, viral probably isn't the right word, but do you really want to blow up numbers wise because you were whining and pissing yourself? for putting unreasonable standards and expectations on yourself because you were <laughs> foolishly comparing yourself to people that were bigger than you because they worked to get there because that that's something that people don't get you know i understand you want to have someone to look towards goal wise so that you have a, a reasonable mountain to climb. But if you're going to start tripping out because, oh, well, I'm not at the status that this person is at, even though they clearly work harder than me, even though they do more things than me, even though they're genuine in what they do 
And even though they're not complaining about things outside of their control, why would you do that to yourself? Because again, that is going to lead you to having a bad mindset and then spiraling. And then like, I don't know, a month after you start VTubing, oh, hey, I graduate. I don't want to do this anymore. Right? Because hell, it was like about a year and a half ago. There were like tons of people coming out with these really cool looking models, these cool overlays, these alerts, these emotes, put down hella money on the whole VTubing thing. You know, they had, they had a really, really, really banging debut. Tons of people there for their first stream or whatever. And then about yeah, just shy of maybe, maybe, maybe three months after the fact they're like oh hey i'm graduating because they could not hold their debut numbers oh what a shocker because again as i mentioned earlier the general vtubing watching audience they're into the idol culture stuff they're into the events you know it it's it's full of people that are like excited and then they're like, oh, I was there, you know, I was here for this. I was here for that. You know, I did this. I did that day one, huh, day one type shit, right? Once the big hype from the big event is over, they're probably not going to come back. And a lot of people who jump into the VTubing sphere need to understand how that works and the more people that understand that the better off that they'll be and the more people that put out real ass advice and not this cookie cutter bullshit that a lot of people on twitter like to put out like oh just be yourself just stream just do this just do that that doesn't fucking work and it hasn't and it won't work for a majority of people because you could have the greatest personality in existence but if no one likes it, then no one fucking likes it. And that's just it, bro. You have to, in one way or another, be entertaining to someone somewhere, right? Like, for my, myself, for example, I'm not funny on purpose. I am funny by accident. I am funny when I'm angry. I can't just be funny constantly all the time, 24-7, right? You know? I'm a pretty serious dude that knows how to hee hee and ha ha and I find things funny and I can relate to things that I'm very knowledgeable about the things I talk about. I'm very knowledgeable about the things that go on in the world. I'm very knowledgeable about all the games that I play, especially if I've played it before and stuff like that. That is part of my appeal to people from what I've been told, you know? I've had people be like, oh, are you really good at this game? Or you really know a lot about this game here? Stuff like that. I didn't know anyone that was into that. I'm going to follow you. I'm going to fuck with you. I think you're cool and stuff. You know, like I said earlier, I'm not and I will never do the whole kooky, wacky, haha, chaos, gremlin energy. No, 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 no. I'm not looking down on people who do that. That's for them. That's not for me. Okay? That's not for me. I don't want to do all that because I'm not trying to be midstream because i fell asleep because i ran out of energy for a stream right not trying to do that don't want to do that i did that once never again you know i said it uh before i let the ads play out earlier in chat anyway but i i was buying the afro when they said you know it missed the days when it was actual sunshine and rainbows but it's just been nothing but fucking drama left right up down north west south east all that everywhere from every fucking direction and that's because unfortunately people have negativity bias you know no no one is gonna give a damn about like a cool charity stream that has like you know stretch goals and events and you i don't know you you're, you're doing like a race type of thing no People would rather go to like a drama stream or I'm calling this person out because that 
is what has led to a lot of people being uh, successful in one way or another getting all the clout on the planet in one way or another getting uh, subs and this and that in one way or another people are getting partner off drama because people are either hate watching or hate rating or doing whatever drama has been proven in many many different ways to be beneficial for some people however it's those same people that wind up heavily benefiting from said drama that they can't ever escape from it and then they too wind up quitting because it wasn't any authentic growth it wasn't anything that they did content wise it wasn't anything that they did with their own hands they wound up blowing up and getting huge off of a fuck ton of negativity and they couldn't keep up with they couldn't keep playing into it because it was very obviously eating away at them i mean even with that then you have like the issue of some vtubers fan base you know you have people who will sit up here and be like oh my god i love you so much you're so cool but then the moment stream is over or the moment you stop talking to them it's i hate that motherfucker they're a bitch they're conceited they're this they're that they're not inviting me to everything and blah 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 it's so much of that shit that goes on bro damn near all the time at this point right you you, you can't talk about any real ass problems without someone getting up in their feelings about some shit and taking it to a place that ain't got no business going to you can't you can't talk about some real shit or even like allude to some real shit but also i'm being like oh i don't care i just want the content or 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 you're 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 a fake vtuber you're a tourist vtuber because you're not doing it the right way etc etc so nah bruh bruh look me in my eye bruh that ain't it and and then you have people who you know do something crazy like for real for real out of pocket and then they'll just be like, oh, I'm sorry, I'll get help. And then suddenly all this forgiven. Like, how how many people, and the answer is too damn many, how many people have been outed as groomers and like actual proven pedos with like evidence and shit? And they just say a simple sorry and everything is all just sunshine and rainbows how many people have done something that's absolutely irrevoke irredeemable and they like go on a hiatus or whatever and then like a few months later they're like okay i'm back and then all is forgiven it's, it's the oh well they they said sorry just move on no bro that's not how this works but again very few people are properly held accountable for the bullshit that they do and they just get away with it all the time and with that lackadaisical attitude towards you know real important things and a lackadaisical attitude towards trying to be at least a half decent content creator and a lackadaisical attitude towards being at least 10 percent of a decent fucking human being no wonder that people are quitting vtubing on moss like crazy no wonder people are just suddenly graduating out of nowhere no wonder the landscape of vtubing as a whole has taken such a severe nosedive because gone are the days the halcyon days of people being like yeah this is cool i like this i want to thrive and I want to see other people thrive too. Those days, psh, gone, gone, and they ain't coming back. That that's just the raw, raw situation of it. Them days ain't coming back, bro. But that's my opinion of uh, how fucking fucked the VTubing landscape and community is and why a lot of people that are vtubers just don't really want to associate with it anymore now they're still vtubing as far as having an image that moves or not represent them on screen 
but a lot of people, as I said earlier, are taken to calling themselves V creators because they just don't want to interact with VTubers anymore, just to be 100% honest, you know?